February is here, and that means it's Black History Month. So we gonna celebrate, and we gonna celebrate each Wednesday of this month. We'll be featuring an African American who is a leader and one of the pillars of society. These individuals are at the top of their game and dedicated to giving back culture in a positive push forward. So let's get ready. It's time to applaud the culture. Yes, come on, give me a graphic. Yes. Now, before we meet our first guest, let's find out a little bit more about them. Check this out. Meet 25-year-old Tierra Fletcher and her 29-year-old husband, Myron Fletcher. Together, they've conquered the world of aerospace engineering. And if that isn't exciting enough, they're currently working with NASA on preparing a rocket to launch in November 2021 to Mars. This space launch will be the most powerful launch since the 1960s. Oh, but it doesn't stop there. They also started a foundation called Rocket with the Fletchers, where they introduce underprivileged youth to the world of aerodynamics. Tierra and Myron, we applaud you for your impact on the culture. Yes, joining us now. She's a structural design engineer and he's a senior flight test engineer. Please welcome Tierra and Myron Fletcher. Hi guys. Hi. Hey. What an honor it is to talk to you. Hi. Yes. Thank you for having okay, us. Okay, let's just let's just start right here. Tierra, you are 25 years old and Myron, you're 29. Wow. You guys aren't even in your 30s yet and you're both rocket scientists. How did you guys both get into this field? So at the age of 11, I wanted to be everything under STEM. So a mathematician, a scientist, an inventor, an architect, the list goes on. But I actually joined a program that taught about the fundamentals of aerospace engineering and it put it all together for me. And then I was able to go to MIT and receive my degree in aerospace engineering. And for me, I grew up down the street from the Little Rock International Airport. And every day I would pass by and see these big planes take off. And I always asked my mom, how could something that big fly? And by the grace of God, I had a scholarship in the fifth grade to go to space camp in Huntsville, Alabama. And the first thing I saw was a Saturn V, which was the rocket that took humans to the moon. And I said, if humans are building that, I want to be a part of that project. And so I graduated Ooh. from Skiggy University with my aerospace engineering and physics degrees. And today I'm living out my dreams. I can't. Physics degrees, I'm people. Physics not doing degrees. enough out here, man. I Dang. love engineers. <laughs> Can you guys break down what you do individually in the roles of your job? Of course. So I'm a structural design engineer. So that means that I verify the structural integrity of various components for the vehicle. And for me, my previous role was rocket propulsion engineering, okay. um, where I designed, built, and qualified cryogenic rocket components. Today, I am a senior flight test engineer working on Boeing's executive fleet of airplanes. So I'm flying airplanes all around the world doing different type of flight tests. Wow, amazing. Oh. <laughs> Incredible. So excited. Who were some of the role models, though, that you were looking up to growing up? So from a very young age, from the time that I decided to become an aerospace engineer, my role model has been V. Mae Jemison, black female astronaut who can also dance. I have looked up to her. Just looking at her image, I can see myself and what I could become. And then fast forward to high school, I met a black female VP at a top aerospace engineering company. And then lo and behold, in my undergraduate career, I was able to meet V. May Jeminson in person and cry my heart out to her and give her a huge hug. So that exposure is just so key to success. That and is awesome. Me, um, I, I went to school at um, George Washington Carver Elementary School. And so at a young age, I was taught about an African-American who took the peanut and created over 400 inventions. And so I knew that we had greatness in us at a very young age, but I didn't know which path I wanted to go through. Thankfully, I had a brother who's seven years older than I am, who, who was an engineer. And he reached back to me and said, hey, Myron, you should be an aerospace engineer. And so thankfully to him and those who've gone before us, I was able to really navigate and become an aerospace engineer. Amazing. Absolutely. And since we're speaking about Incredible. other people in your field that look like you, do you think it's a rare thing? I know you had mentioned that earlier. How rare is it to find a, a an African American face in the world of space technology? If I'm honest, 
Finding one of us in aerospace engineering, especially dealing with rockets, it's like being a unicorn. Matter of fact, mm -hmm. I am the only African-American engineer on my program as a flight test engineer. She's the only African-American engineer as well, at slash female in the program as well. And so we really rely on each other. We really become each other's backbones, each other's support system. Um, it's, it's just by the grace of God that we happen to be married. Um, but it's, it's yeah, it's, yeah, you don't, you don't see us often. You're, you're, you're more likely to see a unicorn. <laughs> And thank God, Rocket Guys, both two unicorns. I know. Just, oh, I just love this. I love, love you too. Okay, how do you think your work is helping to push the culture forward? So we created an organization called Rocket with the Fletchers, as you can see here. And through yes. this organization, we're able to perform outreach activities through speaking engagements, teaching, mentorship, you name it, across the entire globe. And we've even been able to teach for programs for my alma mater, MIT. Wow. And it's been a fantastic success because also I have a book coming out called Wonder Woman of Science. It comes out March 23rd, where you can learn about groundbreaking female scientists of today. Yes. That is yes. phenomenal. to know more. I'm, I'm so excited, excited for that. Enough, so. Lonnie's already got that book on pre-order. Look at her face. You can see yes, it right there. Yes. <laughs> Tira no, and Martin, I'm thank you so much on. for sharing your story and chatting with us today. We are so proud of y'all and what you're doing. We continue to wish you success.